Welcome everyone to our live webinar interview with the one and only Penny Rightly for the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. We're in for quite a treat today. Uh, I brought Penny on because she's been getting some wicked, wicked results as of late on a variety of fronts with Facebook, with database marketing. Uh, she's a seasoned vet in this industry, but you who are newbies, you don't want to tune out because there's lots that will be applicable to you as well. And so, yeah, we're doing this live with Penny Rightly, all the way from, Cam uh, easy for me to say, Cambridge, Ontario. And uh, we're going to be talking about the results she's been getting as of late. She's gotten 460 leads, 34 plus apps. Uh, she's gotten, um, I think it was 14 pre-approvals or some insane, oh, she got, oh, I'm butchering all the math. All you need to know is she's been getting some wicked results when it comes to Facebook leads, applications, closings, and all of that happened within 45 days. So lots of results in a very short period of time. And uh, so without further ado, thanks so much for having us on. And uh, thanks so much for being with us, Penny. I appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much for having me today, Doran. I'm super excited to be here. Hey, likewise. So why don't we dive in and maybe just give a little background on yourself. Um, I mentioned that you're from Cambridge, Ontario. So fellow Canuck in the cold yes. white north. For those of you who are south of the Canadian US border, uh, it's dang freaking cold right now. Um, sheets <laughs> of ice, ice storms and all kinds of crazy yes. stuff. Not, and living in igloos and chewing on, on ho hockey pucks and uh, wearing uh, beaver pelts and all that good stuff. That's what we do here in Canada. So very true. Tell folks who perhaps aren't familiar with who you are a little bit about your background, how long you've been in the business and uh, what inspired you to get in the business. And, uh, you know, just a little bit about your background before we get into things. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So I've been in the mortgage industry since the year 2000. So this will be my 19th year in the business. So I was fresh out of college and I got into finance. Um, I worked for a, uh, a mortgage lender, an alternative mortgage lender for approximately six years before I became a mortgage broker. Um, and so I have spent um, all of my time since 2006 as a mortgage broker. Um, and I am from Ontario, Canada, so, um, it's very cold here right now. We do have big ice storms today. It's very nasty. Um, but, um, but yeah, so I've been in the industry for a long time. Um, and just, you know, coming from working for a lender, I had a little bit of an underwriting, uh, background originally, and then, uh, got to learn sales a little bit. And uh, I think probably one of the biggest inspirations that got me into this business was uh, one, I have a love of finance and money and numbers and that type of thing. Um, but also, I just really love to help people. Um, I find that this is more uh, a relationship business than it is a numbers business. And, uh, and this sort of uh, fills my need to help people, which is cool. Yeah, and it shows on how you show up not just um, on our coaching calls, you have a passion for your business, for your team, for your clients, for making a difference, but obviously that's been translating and how you're showing up as you connect with these clients, starting from the lead phase all the way through to application and closing, because you've been getting some pretty dang phenomenal results. Anybody who's ever done Facebook advertising, Lord knows uh, there's plenty of ways to lose your shirt and make zero money and get zero results. And some of you can relate to that intimately because you've tried it and uh, you came up short. And so you're going to hear some phenomenal numbers today, the kind of results that Penny has been getting, you know, 460 leads, 34 apps, 14 pre-approvals. Um, I think actually it was 14 closings, if I'm not yes. mistaken. Yeah, it was 14 yeah. closings. I don't know how many pre-approvals, but a lot of pre-approvals. A lot. Um, all, all within literally 45 days, guys. So lots yeah. of really phenomenal conversion uh, metrics that are worthy of praise and celebration. Um, but why don't we start off from the beginning? Because you know, people listening and watching, um, maybe they're in their mortgage business that just got started this year or last month, or maybe they've been in the game for a long time like you. But right. uh, chances are, if they're listening or tuning in, it's because there's something missing. 
Um, they're stagnated, they're regressing, they're sliding backwards, they're frustrated as hell. Maybe they hit a high note several years ago, they've been sliding down the mountain ever since. Um, maybe they've been you know, trudging through the mud with the concrete blocks on their feet, trying to move forward, but for the life of them, they can't seem to do it. Maybe they're doing old school methods that ain't working anymore and they're trying to find a better way. Um, but you know, the golden thread between all these stories is they're frustrated as hell and they're trying to create a breakthrough to no avail because what they're doing ain't working. Um, so tell us about your story because we can weave your story into their story and uh, chances are they'll be able to relate to some of your challenges. Why don't we kick things off with just sharing a little bit about the problem that you were struggling with, Penny, when uh, you were kind of on the precipice of launching into working with us, some of the things that drove you to make that call, to book that call with us and to reach out for help. Um, what were you know some of the frustrations, challenges, pain points that uh, you're dealing with before we got working together? For sure. So I think for me, uh, some of the biggest things that really stand out is I was definitely spending too much time working on the wrong activities. Um, mm. That was a big one. I was getting lost in the daily minutia, just living in my email and just literally, um, you know, putting out fires all day long. Mm. Um, instead of working on my business, I was working in my business. Right. Um, so definitely spending too much time working on the wrong activities. Um, I had no systems. I'm still getting them, you know, I've got many more systems now, but I had no systems. Systems was a big problem for me. Um, and then mindset. Mindset was probably, I would say, probably the biggest problem, to be honest, because when you get lost mm. in the daily minutia, um, you know, your mindset can can wander because you're not keeping it on track. So that was definitely a problem for me. I'm sure no one watching or listening to this has struggled with any of those challenges. So I, I imagine they can <laughs> only imagine what it's like to struggle with staying motivated and upbeat and on point and focusing on the vital few instead of the trivial many and working in their business instead of on their business. I know you guys are probably having a hard time relating to that, but you know, <laughs> use your powers of empathy and imagination to see if perhaps you can relate. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Of course. Uh, I imagine <laughs> most people uh, watching or listening can relate if you can, and you're watching live, hit us up and let us know what challenges you're facing right now. And uh, also, if any of the challenges that uh, Penny shared, you also share, we'd love to hear from you as well. Just chime in in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Um, so then what? What happened after that? We, uh, we got on a phone call. We booked a breakthrough call. Uh, we lifted, lifted up the hood on your business. And yep. we got you connected with the consequence of you staying stuck and then also gave you a prescription for how to create a breakthrough. Tell us about perhaps some of the uh, fears, challenges, um, hesitations that you had before you took the plunge. Because let's be real, any human being, when they make a commitment to, <laughs> to fix a problem, um, it can be a little bit of a fear of the unknown. It can be a fear of failure. It can be a fear of, holy shit, this is a lot to invest. Is this going to work? Um, what were some of the hesitations, fears, concerns you had before you decided to pull the trigger and invest in yourself? So I think for me, um, you know, I was just looking at, you know, where I was at. And I mean, I was I was performing well enough. I, I'm comfortable. Um, I do have a team of people. Um, we have several offices in, in Ontario that run under mine and my business partner's licenses because um, I do have a business partner as well. And um, you know, I guess, I guess really it was, you know, it was just, um, you know, just really, really getting stuck in, in that daily grind and, um, and, and just looking at things and going, okay, you know what, I've been following, getting, you know, some messages um, about, you know, let's, let's look at changing how you do your business. Let's make things easier. Let's make things better. Um, and so I started following you online and actually I've been following you online for a really long time. Um, you know you're a years, sucker for punishment fact. when. <laughs> <laughs> years and years and years. So um, I followed you all the way back to, uh, you know, magazine articles and CMP magazine back in like 2006, 2007. Oh, yeah, we're going way back. There. 
Yeah. So it's been a really long, long, long time that I've been following you. And I thought, you know, this guy's been in the business a long time. He must really know what he's what he's talking about. Um, but certainly, you know, there is that that initial hesitation. One of the big ones for me, of course, is cost. And I think that's that's everybody's, um, you know, initial sort of um, hesitation is cost of, of any program that they're going to do. Um, but honestly, you know, when you listen to all the, um, you know, the great motivational people out there, the Tony Robbins of the world, the Jim Rohns of the world, when you listen to those people, the first thing they talk about is investing in yourself and investing in your own personal and professional development. And, you know, um, I follow uh, Darren Hardy as well. And one of the things he said that really stuck out to me was for every dollar you invest in yourself, we'll get you $200 back out. Um, and I kind of believe that. I mean, that was just some general rule of thumb that I think he put um, on a, a an event that I had attended. But uh, that really stuck out to me. And so, you know, when looking at a program like this, you know, and you look at costs, I'm like, okay, well, you know, you do have to dish out a few bucks, but you, you've got to spend money to make money. That's the, that's the name of the game. That's how it works. Um, the reward in the end far, you know, exceeds the, the investment. So, um, so I would say to anyone that's, that's hesitating on price, you know what, sometimes you just got to bite that bullet and, uh, and make it happen and, um, you know, um, and, and stick with it. So that was definitely a hesitation. Um, I think maybe another hesitation may have been, you know, is this going to be like every other program that I've always done? Right. You know, I've done yeah. other programs and so on. Um, and I can honestly say it's very, very different program. Um, and I think it's more so that it doesn't just talk about marketing of mortgage business. It, your program really gets into um, some deeper um, personal type um, concepts as well as so things about your mindset and what you're focusing on and you know your activities and all of the things that you're doing um, not just in your mortgage business but in your life right are you looking after yourself are you you know eating right are you working out are you um, you know are you training your brain and putting the right things in right one of the mm -hmm. things I never do I don't listen to the news ever mm. it's depressing I subscribe to the things I have to to know what's going on in that, that relates to my my line of work because there's lots going on in the news there. Um, but anything else in the world, I have no idea. If somebody asked me what was going on with some war somewhere, I have no idea. I have no clue. I'm just you're telling me you don't it. feed your brain with who killed who and who bombed who and what That's su right. suicide bomber exploded where and how many people Bingo. murdered who, what when. I mean. You're telling me yeah. you don't want to feed your brain with all that negativity every day? What's wrong with you? Don't what you want to be in Exactly. Come on That's now, what girl. they say, garbage in, garbage out. Right? So, you know, I put the good stuff in um, and it gets the good stuff out. And this program just kind of pushed that, dro drove that through just even a little bit more mm -hmm. than what I was already doing, right? So, Absolutely. Um, so that, that was uh, a big one. So yeah, lots of lots of concerns that were there, obviously, because any human being taking the plunge into the unknown, pressing out of their comfort zone and stretching for higher ground is gonna have some of that. That's just real, that's authentic, that's how it is to be on the front lines of real life. And if we're not stre stretching ourselves out of our comfort zone, there's a problem, you know, it's a good sign mm -hmm. when you feel that pressure and you feel that, oh my word, okay, here we go. And you feel that excitement and, and fear at the same time, because that means you're on the right track. That means you're stepping up for higher ground. So obviously right. you did that. And uh, let's fast forward now, 45 days, like basically two months later, uh, lots has happened. Let's break down some of the numbers. Let's look, uh, start off with, um, well, why don't we start off with just the, the the basics, the broad strokes of the solution? What was the the broad strokes of the solution, the prescription to what ailed you? You were focusing on the wrong things. You're working in your business, not on your business. You lacked systems. Uh, you yep. you know you're getting bogged down with a lot of stuff that wasn't really pushing the needle on profit and performance in your business. Your mindset wasn't dialed in at the level it could be. Um, what what were the big blocks, if you will, of the prescription or the solution that we provided you? And then we'll talk about some of the results you've gotten so far. Perfect. So um, for me, um, a lot of it comes down to technology. Um, and Dora and I have had many conversations about 
me sucking at technology, <laughs> and I do. You don't, you don't suck um, at technology. So You're just technology, really good at delegating. Don't let it. that fear. <laughs> <laughs> don't let that fear overpower you. Um, there's a ton of support in this program, and so um, getting proper systems in place, such as having a proper CRM system. I have a couple of company provided CRMs, and I mean they do some of the basics, but really, like when we're talking about uh, clientele and customers that is the most valuable part of your business really really important that you have a good CRM so that was definitely a solution for me having a good CRM um, having some um, additional systems to handle communications and to handle just the pure volume um, of leads that you will get when you start um, implementing the things that are in this program, um, when you start implementing them, watch out because there's a flood of phone calls that are going to come your way. And so having technology that helps with the initial communication so that the client doesn't feel like you're ignoring them. Um, you know, I think one day when when we started the um, the Facebook campaign, I think I had something like 37 leads or something on the very first day. And I was it's going incredible. mental. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do with all of these leads? Right? Like I'm going to go completely insane. I remember um, you had 85 and- leads. Uh, you had 85 leads for apps from a $40 yeah. ad, ad spend from your first four days, which is you yes, know, in the first four days. Yeah. But yeah. the first afternoon, it started at like one o'clock in the afternoon or something. I'm out at lunch. And my phone is going bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I still keep my phone on silent. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, I had to. I had to do it. So, um, so yeah, so I had to put my phone on silent because there was just so many leads coming in. And um, luckily, having the right systems in place, I realized that, okay, don't panic because there's going to be systems here. And there are. And those systems worked. And so you know, those systems started do- automating a lot of the um, the process of, you know, oh my God, I got to call 37 people in the next hour and a half. No, you don't. There's actually systems that will help you with that. And, um, you know, your your clientele, your customers are, are going to get still top level service from you while you finish up your lunch <laughs> and then get back right. to the office and start working on those babies. Um, but, uh, but, you know, having those systems in place have made a massive, massive difference, um, for me. So I would say that's a big one, um, getting a little more organized too. So when I started implementing some of the, uh, trigger campaigns that we learn about in the program, um, I found that, you know, it's helped me get a little bit more organized and go, okay, you know, I need to reach out to this group of people and I need to reach out to that group of people. And so having my good CRM to help me manage that, um, has created, um, a space where I can actually go and take on more volume now. Um, because it's very easy to, you know, get lost in the spring market. A spring market has started where I am right now. Um, I had two people put offers in last night, but they were one of, you know, five, six, seven offers. Um, some we win, some we lose, but, um, um, but spring market started is very, very easy to get lost in that. And the systems that your program has provided has made it, um, so I can still be sane and not go completely insane um, and then handle just more volume, which is great. Right. So working smarter, not harder. Definitely yes. big game changer, big, big game changer. Absolutely. So sounds like some key themes, technology, uh, yeah. structure, uh, having the support, the plug and play campaigns, the, the lead generation machine, but also the follow up machine and yes. not having to reinvent the wheel trying to come up with stuff from scratch but having all that plug and play turnkey stuff at your fingertips so that you yes. can get straight to what works without messing around doing it the hard way That's so right. there's a lot a lot a lot of of nectar in what you just shared there and frankly if we had more time i'm sure we could go a lot deeper into a lot more of what you've put in place because there is a plethora that you've already put in place and obviously we it's just unreal. Scratched the surface. <laughs> and i've just scratched the surface yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the tip of the iceberg for sure. So That's let's great. talk about some results um, just to give people heightened appreciation for how quickly things can really turn around. When you put the pedal to the metal, you show up coachable, committed, you do the work and you you know adopt some of these simple disciplines, how quickly things can really turn around. And not only just the simple disciplines, but also 
the turnkey systems that work while you're not working, which is very much a unique attribute of what we do here at MortgageMarketingCoach.com that makes us very unique and distinctive among many of the other solutions or so-called, you know, coaches out there. We don't really just tell you, you know, give you a pat on the back and say, go out there and make 40 cold calls to the same 40 realtors every Monday and, you know, track your numbers. You know, that's that's great if you've been doing nothing because that's a vast improvement from doing, doing zero pro, proactive lead generation. But it's a far cry from 21st century technology and working smart. So let's talk about uh, some of the results you've gotten from working smart using 21st century technology and systems that we bring to the table. Why don't we start off with Facebook? Uh, I kind of butchered <laughs> earlier when I was introducing you some of the numbers because we were going through the numbers before and apparently uh, keeping track of them is not my forte because I, I started tripping on my lips and getting confused just trying to keep track of all the awesome results you've accomplished in such a <laughs> short period of time. But um, yeah, why don't we start off with uh, how many kind of leads, apps and closings you've generated uh, in the first 45 days of the Facebook ads running? Yes. So with the Facebook ads running, um, I think I was sitting at 460 total leads, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably more than that maybe as of today. But anyways, it was it was sitting in around 460 a day or so ago. Um, and I've generated 34 applications out of that so far. And Amazing. 14 of them are going to close, which is awesome. Wow. Super 14 closings. That. 14 so will close. Yeah. How much have you spent to get those 14 closings so far on those 460 leads? Little less than 600 bucks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, less than 600 bucks? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. I checked my visa statement just earlier. Yeah. I think it was like 580 or something like that. That that's I spent. That's Canadian dollars. That is so <laughs> awesome. So that's like a dollar thirty per lead, if my math is accurate. Um, yeah, absolutely. So a dollar thirty per lead. And how much are you making per deal on average on those fourteen closings? Average deal is about three grand. So three Gs. That's, that's our so you do the yes. you do the math. Fourteen times three. That's like forty two Gs so far in uh, in commissions. And that's not even all the deals that are going to culminate out of those thirty four apps. Is that right? That's right. That's right. That's incredible. So what yeah. I'm hearing you say is you you dropped just shy of 600 bones and you have $42,000 so far that is set to close and chances are several more deals that are still forthcoming. Is that right? Yeah, lots of people out shopping too, right? So there's a bunch of pre-approved clients too. So they haven't they haven't turned into a live deal yet, but they are out actively shopping. They're happy. They've got their happy realtor taking them out and about. And uh, some of them I've I've sent to the realtor, so they're even happier. They're doing a happy dance because they've got a pretty much guaranteed paycheck there. Because when we pre-qualify, we fully um, income uh, qualify the client, right? Mm -hmm. So we do all mm -hmm. of the underwriting up front. So it's a very well-qualified buyer when we send them out shopping. So it's the best kind so, of lead to give to our real estate so partners. Absolutely. It certainly beats, hey, I got great rates, great service, throw me a bone, right? Yeah, Cold calling them up right. and saying, hey, you know, I got this whiz bang fancy product and, you know, this niche program and first time home buyer program. And they're like, this is the 40th freaking call I've gotten today. Seriously. Yeah, and like the you know? cup of coffee I've had today, right? <laughs> exactly. So now you're feeding them hot for what they've got pre-approved buyers who don't have yep. a buyer's agent. And so tell us about how that has enacted the law of reciprocity for you. How many have you generated any you know additional referrals from those realtors so far just because you've fed them deals first? Sorry, Doran, I'm going to have to get you to repeat that. The internet cut out a little bit there. Okay. Can you hear me okay now? I can. Okay. So tell us about what spinoff business you've gotten from feeding. How many deals have you fed to real estate agents from these leads that you're self-sourcing? And how much spinoff reciprocated referrals have you generated, if any, from those realtors that you've fed deals to? as opposed to just being a mortgage parasite sucking deals from them. So it's been it's been interesting for sure. So I've got seven or sorry, four pre-approved clients that I've sent out to realtors. So um, so they're very well qualified buyers. So really, I'm just waiting for an offer to come in. Right. Like it's uh, all the hard work's been done. The client's very well qualified. 
So there's been four um, that I've generated through uh, the systems in your program um, that I've been able to give back to my real realtor referral partners, which has been huge. Because um, honestly, like it's, you're basically handing handing a paycheck to your referral partners. So um, it's pretty amazing. So there's been four of those. Um, I have had, let me think now, I was counting just before we got on. I think it was like 11. Call, I, think I, I think if you mentioned around. before, it was like 11 reciprocated referrals so far. Yeah, so I had that. 11. Yes. So I have 11 um, people that have been referred back to me and I've got them, you know, pre-approved or I'm in the process of getting them pre-approved as well. Um, so that's been, that's been amazing. So that's because, incredible. you know, it's good. So clients where, you know, oh, they've listed their house for sale and now they need to buy another house. Go talk to Penny, get pre-approved. And chances are these are leads you wouldn't have gotten otherwise had you not fed the Very fire true. of reciprocity by feeding them business first. Is that accurate? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, you know, um, sometimes with with um, our referral partners, a lot of the time, you know, because they haven't qualified the client for a mortgage, they're sending us, you know, the name and the phone number, maybe a little bit of background. And we ha we, we talk to those clients and, and look at turning them into apps um, from this end with us generating it. We've generated the lead. We've qualified the lead. We've documented the lead, and now we're basically handing a paycheck over. So it's a it's a really cool experience. So you know, I think for every every one application uh, or one qualified buyer I'm sending them, I'm probably getting like ten or more you know people to call back, right? Um, as yeah. an average. So yeah, and obviously, just from the numbers you've sent so far, you've accrued so far, we're looking at about a three to one right now, but this is just in the very initial stages. Keep in mind yeah. that these are gifts that keep on giving uh, from a standpoint of once you secure that exclusive partnership, especially if they're a top producer, they're sending you one, two, three deals a month that yeah. are turning into, you know, three G's, six G's, nine G's a month in revenue for you. And again, that's this great. is the gift that keeps on giving. So that's amazing to consider that you, turn $600 in ad spend into $42,000 in additional commissions just from your own deals that you self-source. And then you got another 11 deals in the hopper just in the last month from these realtors that you fed deals to. So I can only imagine the ROI. We can really, it's going to be hard to calculate that. It's kind of like the saying where, you know, anyone can count the amount of apple seeds in an apple, but only God can count the amount of apples that can come from one seed, you know, one realtor. So true who sends so you their all their business, you know, for the rest of their career. You think about that. I mean, it's it's mind blowing the kind of ripple effect, the butterfly effect, um, but yes. pretty dang good start to say the least. And now let's talk about your database because we've also been working on the client acceleration formula and the first six weeks in it is database marketing and you've made some steady headway. Now, the cool thing is, what we talked about so far with the Facebook ads was turnkey. You didn't have to create the ad. You didn't have to create the funnel. You didn't have to create the landing page. You didn't have to create the uh, the lead intake. You didn't have to create the lead automation, speed to lead follow-up system. You didn't have to create the campaign of what message to send, when, where. All that stuff was turnkey, was it not? Absolutely. It was great because I'm a technology bum. So it was right? wonderful and perfect. <laughs> right. And it's not just about the technology. It's about what do I do with it and what what communications do I send through it? You know, a CRM doesn't make you a single dollar unless you know what kind of marketing messages to deploy through it. So it's both the content as well as the technology and how to operate uh, using that content. But now yeah. not only are you able to do that with your Facebook leads and to be able to feed those into your realtor partners, which is culminating into more business coming your way. But we're also using that swipe and deploy, plug and play turnkey uh, approach to your database marketing. So let's talk about that. What sort of things have you put in place or have we put in place for you on your database marketing and what kind of results have you gotten there? So the uh, the done for you marketing videos uh, to my clients has been fantastic. I think it's been really well received. Um, I get a lot of feedback from those. I have generated uh, several applications out of that. Um, so I think I was sitting in around somewhere like maybe 25 total leads and 13 of them are apps right now. And some I'm still massaging to turn into an app. That's um, awesome. 
Yeah, yeah. There's been a good number of approvals too. I think I've got um, at least six of those 13 apps are approved right now. So about half of them um, are oh, approved yeah. right now and two are ready to fund. I'm just literally waiting for the lawyer to close them and, and uh, either give the client the keys or... Uh, you know, or say that the refinance is done and funded. So, um, so that's been, that's been fantastic. Um, and, and just implementing the things that we learn within the program, you know, a lot of this stuff isn't rocket science. It's, it's uh, it actually, there is a little bit of rocket science in there, but the majority of it is uh, just really good stuff. There's amazing content in there. And um, a lot of it is, you know, you've got things that are already ready to go in the system. You just have to implement them. You just have to push that button. Um, some of them, the buttons push for you, which is even better. So um, like the video, the done for you marketing videos, that's been, that's been really cool. It's been very well received. Um, some of the trigger campaigns in the program uh, have been really well as well. It gets conversations going with my database, mm. which, you know, mm. once you start a conversation, now you can, you can call that client, you can follow up with them, you can massage that, you can turn it into an app, right? Um, or a referral too, mm -hmm. you know, um, that's, Absolutely. that's a big thing as well. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's been really good so far and I've probably spent the majority of my time in the, uh, database marketing program because I do have a fairly large database, which I'm very fortunate to have. Um, but certainly if you're not working that database on a regular ongoing basis, those people, you will lose them and they will go somewhere else. So mm -hmm. something that was really big in this program was, you know, implementing, um, a lot of the systems that are here, you know, using CRM systems, having drip campaigns, all of those types of things and reasons to reach out and and communicate with clients. Um, and so that's that's been a big game changer for me as well. Um, so, yeah, that's it's been really good. So I haven't I don't even think I've implemented like 50 percent yet of the stuff that I've learned in the program. Um, I'm just scratching the surface on on most of it. And it's um, it's definitely uh, keeping me busy. Very, very busy. So, <laughs> yeah, we are actively hiring uh, right now as well. So I need a bit of help. So good problem to have. It certainly it is, the alternative. Is yeah. Be yep. careful what you That's ask right. for. Right. <laughs> yes. That's right. So what was the most surprising thing? Obviously you didn't get into the program because you thought it would suck or you didn't, you thought it, would, it wouldn't work, but what was the most surprising part about the program now that you've been in it for the last couple of months that, you know, kind of took you by surprise? Um, I think what really took me by surprise was how much of it is, um, is so systemized like there are so many great tools things for helping you get uh great google reviews uh systems um and people there's support your your program has um virtual assistants that actually help you set things up um, and run some of your campaigns for you so while you're implementing other things um, and talking to your clientele and that type of thing there is help in the background helping you, you know, generate those leads and get those leads going. And now you can kind of go, okay, you know what, now that, that I'm in this program and I've got this support and this, this back end setup of things, now I can actually do the part that, you know, that I do best, which is like help these clients and help their, their realtors and make those calls right now. I can, I can focus on those things because that's in the program, which is something that I, didn't have in other programs that I've done. I have done a couple of other programs. Certainly, you know, I'm always looking to kick it up a notch all the time. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, this this one was a big game changer for me. So um, I even invited some friends to come and join me. I'm like, this is so great. You've got to try this. So, <laughs> and <I laughs> and some of my great. friends that have joined your program are going, you know what, this is really good stuff. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what was I telling you? Imagine that. It actually works. It's not yeah, just for it me. It's works. for you too. You're going to make money if you do this stuff. Yeah, yeah. and it, it is pretty cool to, uh, you know, oftentimes I've had this misconception that because you guys are in the mortgage space, you're not going to want to share your secret sauce with your friends or your colleagues because you kind of want to keep it secret so that you can have that, you know, that advantage, that unfair advantage. That but I've been amazed. I've been amazed how many referrals I've, we've received recently just because people are getting such phenomenal results. And so I'm so delighted that you've been uh, so blessed through the program that you're wanting to bless others. That's awesome. That warms my heart from the inside out. 
So what are you most excited about now? I mean, obviously, you're just scratching the surface. There's a lot more in store. We ain't done. We've just begun. Um, What are you most excited about in your life and your business right now, now that uh, we've got some of those past problems out of your hair and out of the way? And, you know, there's uh, an open canvas for creating, you know, unlimited possibility. What are you most excited about in your life right now? I think probably what I'm most excited about is just um, to get into some of the other tools that are that are in the program and just like implement more, more of what I've learned. So because like Mm. I said, I've just scratched the surface um, and I'm getting great results already. So I know I'm just going to blow it up when I implement absolutely everything. Um, So that's my goal for 2019 is to implement everything in Doran's program um, (laughs) so that I can be a rock star. Um, and I would like to, uh, I would like to hire some more additional support staff so that I can work on the things that I should be working on, um, yes. get myself out of, um, out of the, um, I don't know, s- certain tasks that I know I could have support staff help the with. Minutia, right? um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, I had an interview today with somebody and I had to rebook it because we're iced in today. So lots of ice outside. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. 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 So that, such um, is the life in the white year. North. Exactly. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah. So this year, um, that's, that's my big plan. Um, I'd also, because I have a team, um, I'd also like to, you know, engage some of my team as well. And, and, um, hopefully, you know, by them seeing the results that I have, it will inspire them to, uh, to also work a little harder and get those results too. Right. So that's, Absolutely. that's my big hope for this year. Yeah, absolutely. Leading by example, it all starts sure. with you showing them that you're leading by example and they're naturally going to want to follow suit. Now you're creating your own parables, your own success stories, your own That's you know, right. inspirational example where they want to be like you. And, and then the next step is, of course, not just to be the hero, but make heroes. So you're on your way to be able to do exactly that. Super, super proud of you. Um, what would you say to someone who is on the fence right now. You know, they've heard maybe other success stories on the podcast. They've seen other mortgage professionals kicking ass and they're like, yeah, but you know, my market's different. Yeah, but, but you know, my situation's different. Or they're thinking, man, you know, um, I'd really love to do this, but you know, I can't afford it. Or I'd really like to do this, but you know, I got to save a few pennies. You know, there's any number of excuses, limitations, and uh, circumstances that we can use to stop us from our breakthrough. And a lot of people are struggling and suffering and stressing with a lot of the similar challenges that you faced just two or three months ago. What would you say to someone like that who's listening or watching right now and is still sitting on the fence and considering maybe I, should I get get on the phone with uh, Doran's people or should I maybe I'll leave it a little while longer? Maybe I should wait for another few months. Maybe I should wait till next year. What would you say to someone like that who's on the fence? I would say don't wait. Just do it. Suck it up. Do it. Get your credit card out. Make that call. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Because honestly, and you know what? Um, People that are thinking about this obviously need a change. Um, Anyone that is looking at your program or following your program obviously there's a missing piece somewhere in their um in in their systems and how they operate their businesses um you know and so clearly if something's missing do something about it right take that leap take that step um you're not going to grow your business doing the same old same old you have to kick it up a notch you have to learn new skills new tools new um new ways of doing things um you know, uh, something else that was really good that came of this program was I've made some new friendships with higher level players, right? Uh, mm-hmm. There's somebody famous, I'm not sure who, but says something to the effect that you are the sum of the five people you hang around the most. So right. you know what? Get some cooler friends, right? Um, and this program has provided that as well. So I've got some cooler friends now that are uh, hitting it at a higher level and that will only um, escalate myself and them. So, um, so I would say, you know, yeah, if you're on the fence, you know what, suck it up and just do it. And that's like it. Saint, like really, like, just 
so much cool stuff in here. Like we've barely even touched on it today, but honestly, there's so much cool stuff in here. And if people um, are thinking about, you know, oh, should I do this? Should I not? You know, is it worth the investment or, or whatever it be? Yeah. Hell yeah. It's worth the investment. Just do it. You know, when you when you hear what the numbers look like and you look at your deals and, oh, I need this many deals or whatever to pay for it. Yeah. But you know what? You're going to get those deals in this system. And then some like it will pay you back like over and over and over again um, by learning these new skills and having this new network of people to communicate with, too. Right. There's a massive, massive value in that in, mm -hmm. in learning with people that want to kick it up a notch. So to all those people out there, just do it. Suck it up, buttercup. Get that credit card out and go make some beautiful stuff happen. I love it. Boom. Straight from Penny Rightly all the way from Cambridge, Ontario, y'all. And she doesn't sugarcoat it. She gives it to you raw. She gives it to you real. And this is coming from someone who's been there, done that, who's been through the trials and tribulations of doing it the hard way. And she's come through the other side. She's seen the light. And now she wants to share the light with you guys. So, Penny, thank you for being authentic, real, driven, kind, committed, uh, the kind of person that I just feel blessed to have the privilege of serving. And uh, I know many of the other people in the program have uh, been blessed by your energy and uh, your commitment to serving and your profound insights. And everywhere you go, you leave a wake of awesome. And I just want to thank you and honor oh, you for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's been an amazing experience. Really cool. Well, Life all like, Beautiful. And like I keep saying, we ain't done, baby. We just begun. There's still so <laughs> much more in store. So I'm excited about your present. I'm excited about your future. And um, for those of you who are listening and watching, if you'd like to get an inside look on the secret sauce that sparked a flame, Penny Rightly's business and took it to a whole other level in a hurry, that you just got a little glimpse into today and you want to learn how to work smarter instead of just harder. You want to learn how to break free from the drudgery of doing it the hard way, the, the slow grind of banging your head against the wall day after day after day, hoping and wishing and praying something will change. And yet it never changes because if you keep doing what you've always done, you keep getting what you always get got. And if you're done with that, if you're committed to adding an extra hundred K plus per year, to your income in 2019, if you're committed to kicking ass, taking names to them bubble gum and crushing it, working smarter, not harder, and you just want the support, the structure and the proven plan to do that, then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough coaching call. The same call that changed Penny's life can change yours. And you can book that call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. I'm gonna show it on the screen here. It's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And if you'll go there and book a call with either myself or one of my consultants, we'll hop on the phone for a 60 minute call. We'll, we'll lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working for you right now, what's not working for you right now, where you're at in your business, where you'd like to be in your business. And if we can help you create a breakthrough, by all means, we will show you how, just like we did for Penny. And if we can't, frankly, I will be the very first person to advise you to pass on our services because frankly, we're not the right fit for everybody. But either way, you will leave that call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun as well. So I invite you to go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Take that first step. Like Penny said, just do it. Suck it up, buttercup. Put all your excuses <laughs> to the side and just decide to take that first step to exploring the possibilities of really creating a breakthrough, not just in your business, but also in your life. So Penny, thanks again for being just uh, an amazing example of coachability, of commitment, of doing the hard work and showing up Thank with you. a sparkle in your eye and pepping your step and just getting out there. And like you say, just doing it. You got so it. Thank you for that, my dear. It's been a pleasure. Um, again, you. this is Doran Aldana from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast with uh, Penny Rightly from beautiful, tropical Cambridge, Ontario. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much for listening, for watching. Join us again. We keep coming at you every week with kick-ass episodes. So come back once more. We got more in store. And remember, go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you'll get massive results. Goodbye, everyone. 
Thanks for being with us.